Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is on this makeup look. This is a super wearable Valentine's Day makeup look. It's got some subtle colors going on, dewy skin and overall a really nice romantic day look. It's a quick one too, so let's get started. Because it's a day look, I'm not going to skip a sunscreen. This is the Wow Anti-Pollution Sunscreen and it's really lightweight. Also, it helps with the dewy skin. As a primer, this is for people who have dry skin and want some extra moisturization. I'm using my aloe vera gel. I've done a video on this long back testing aloe vera gel as a primer and it worked. So I don't know about you, but aloe vera gel leaves me feeling really refreshed. I'm going for a really natural makeup look. So I'm using the LA Gold Pro Concealer and yeah, my concealer was acting weird. I think I need to buy a new one. This is almost over. I love it for everyday wear. So just with my finger, I'm going to put this wherever I feel I have any darkness like my under eyes or some spots. This is in the shade Creamy Beige and it's going to help and give a very skin-like natural finish. I'm going in with the Nykaa Skin Genius Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations for everyday wear. I newly bought this and I had tried it long back so uh, I had to purchase it. This is in the shade Warm Sand. That's my shade. And honestly for anyone with dry skin who's looking for a dewy finish because I know y'all keep asking me, y'all must get your hands on this one. You do want to set your foundation especially in the T zone if not everywhere with some setting powder. I'm using the pack setting powder in the shade BE6 just so everything stays in place and yeah, it just lasts longer. Going for some light contouring. This is my all-time favorite, my MAC bronzing powder in medium. It's a matte bronzing powder. So with a fluffy brush, with an angled fluffy brush, more than sculpting my face, I'm just going to add some warmth to it. moving on to some multitasking this is my blush on that I'm going to be using it's by Lancome and it's a really pretty natural pink shade it's got a little bit of mauve going on like an undertone so it's really great for darker skin tones as well what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put that with my same fluffy brush on my lid along with my cheeks Let's move on to the eyes. Now, since Valentine's Day is the theme, I just got to use this palette by Nykaa. It's called Crazy in Love. Some really beautiful everyday wear shades. So, I'm taking the darkest shade that's on the palette. It's like a purplish shade, more burgundy. And I'm going to put that in the outer corner with a fluffy brush. Next, I'm taking this rose gold shade and I'm going to put that on my lid. I think these eyeshadows would be really pigmented if you wet your brush and use it. But I wanted a more natural look. It's completely your choice. Next, I went in with the more gold shade and I'm putting that in my inner corner and my brow bone. Also in the center of my lid. Here comes the big eyes trick. This is using a white kajal in your waterline. I love this one by Bella Voste. And I'm also going to use that same burgundy shade to uh, smoke out my lower lash line. Now I'm going to use some kajal. This is by Pack, And I'm going to be doing a smoky liner. So um, it's going to create a very nice romantic look rather than a winged liner or something too harsh. Definitely don't forget your favorite mascara. Go ahead with whichever you like. I love this one by Bobbi Brown. It just gives a very nice natural fake lashes effect like if you know what I mean. To complete the eyes, I'm gonna go in with this Bella Voste eyebrow pencil and this is in the shade brown. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows with this. It's very smooth to apply and honestly at the end of the brush, the spoolie helps a lot to shape your eyebrows. If you notice, there's a sudden lift in my eye. So these are all the tricks that make your eyes look bigger, as you can see. I'm actually going to use the same gold eyeshadow from the palette as my highlighter. It actually worked pretty well. If you're looking for a natural glowy look, then I think this works really well. For lips, this is another Bella Voste product. And no, this is not sponsored, but I've just lately been loving um, the products from Bella Voste. So uh, this lip gloss is actually called Pop of pink and uh, it looks a little orange for some reason because of my lighting I don't know why I realized later but uh, it's actually pink and it's a really pretty one set all of that in place with some setting powder and you're good to go 